Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about creating your perfect classic wardrobe that still feels like you. So step one is to do your research. So create visual mood boards and save images of outfits that you love. I really like Pinterest for this. It really helps me to get a sense of exactly what I look for in outfits and my personal style. I create boards for different seasons. This is my spring summer one and I'll notice pieces that really stand out to me or reoccur throughout the board. I have a lot of basic pieces already so it's easy for me to recreate outfits that I love. If it's something that I notice is missing but it's something I've pinned a lot, I look into items like that. For example, these wide leg black trousers, I really love this and I feel like it's a great piece for spring and summer. So I'll normally do a quick search and browse similar items until I find one that fits me well. But I don't like to impulse buy so I usually create wish lists while I'm creating my summer wardrobe and I absolutely love Karma for this. It's a website that lets you save things that you have your eye on so I can really think about the purchase and if it's a worthy investment. It'll also give me a heads up on vouchers or sales so I can save some money as well. Step two is to invest in the basics. Having core pieces in your wardrobe is a game changer. These are pieces that are interchangeable, versatile, and just make getting dressed a more seamless process. So these are the everyday pieces that I think everyone needs, and you can build on those with other elements that make an outfit more unique to you. Whether that's more feminine pieces, more sporty pieces, I think you'll understand your personal style and what you need from your wardrobe, and you can build from there. But this is just a really great base to work from. They're also really interchangeable, so it's really easy to mix and match, and create different outfits with these core pieces you can wear things so many different ways for example a pair of blue jeans can be taken from something really casual to something more formal and more smart number three is are the pieces timeless and transseasonal i personally don't like to purchase items that are trendy or limited to one season or not going to last me a long time instead of purchasing trends it's worth evaluating what pieces work the best for you and what you wear the most and if it's versatile when buying anything new, it's worth asking these questions. You want your money to go a long way and resisting those impulse purchases will save you so much in the long run. I like to invest in certain pieces that will take me through different seasons and last me years. There are some classics that never get old, Jewellery and accessories is a big one for me, so whether that's the perfect classic shoe, I feel like these pieces really help to make an outfit more me and they last me such a long time. I love these pieces from Idol. These are modular fine diamonds that you can mix and match so you can rewear them for different occasions. They're perfect for the day and you can add on additions to make it more evening appropriate like this beautiful hanging piece. They're sustainable and lab grown diamonds which is such a huge reason for why I love it. I've been wearing these pieces non-stop, they're so versatile and amazing quality. They go perfectly with my very casual outfits but also they look so beautiful in the evening especially with a really understated dress. This would also make the perfect gift for someone because they're so timeless and I think they look perfect on anyone. Which brings me to my next point, quality over quantity. One important step is to try not to overconsume, as I think it leads to cluttering your wardrobe and making it harder to get ready. So I try to stay away from impulse purchases and really ask yourself if it's something that you need and if it's something that you would be able to rewear in multiple ways. I don't shop that often, especially when it comes to shoes and handbags. I really rewear my items and I get so much cost per wear. These blue jeans take me such a long way. Also, the shoes that I buy, I don't buy often. And when I do, I really think about it and evaluate whether it's something I can wear a lot. So I find it really easy to create outfits in the morning because I have those core pieces that are not overwhelming and really easy to put together. And finally is to add your own touch. Capsule wardrobes can feel like they're a little bit basic, but you can always add your own twist. They don't just have to be one way. So think about what you need from your wardrobe, depending on your work environment or social environment. I personally walk and commute a lot, so I try to incorporate comfortable pieces that are tailored to that. I also love masculine and chic pieces, so I try to mix pieces that fit into that theme. So I'll mix an oversized tailored blazer with some ballerinas 
to contrast and balance each other out. I do find that this comes with time, but if you build on those core pieces and introduce elements that are you, you'll notice that your perfect wardrobe will come together on its own. But I would start by shopping your own wardrobe first for those gems and key pieces. Building a timeless wardrobe doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't require you having to go out and purchase a whole new wardrobe. So those are some of my steps. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I'll see you in my next one.